Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about this. Today I'm going to be opening a novel Pokemon Sword and Shield, Brilliant Stars, Booster Box. This will be Booster Box number four on the channel, or well, technically Booster Box number seven. But I opened three of them in one video in my in my hundred pack opening. Link in the description down below if you want to see that. But without further Scooby ado, let's get it. Alright guys, booster box number seven you should say you could say. In the title in the thumbnail it's gonna be number four. Because technically it's one booster box number four, but I've opened seven in total. Um three being the hundred pack opening. Which would mm, depending on when I upload, I would be last video or in one of my videos links will be in the description down below anyway but well, let's get straight into the packs that 100 pack opening guys that 100 pack opening oh my days as i struggle to open this one this case of booster bosses that i've got as you can see have errors or some form of error or something like that as you can see as a symbol right there hopefully you can see it that's not brilliant stars i'll show you in a second of this did a pet trick all right so high, high five, five. that's the brilliant star symbol that's brilliant stars so for some reason the comments in this are from another set i don't know why in this case and um, our first pack magic is an Eevee and a light pod. So we've got an Eevee training gallery, training gallery card as our first card. But in... But in our... Um, in my 100 pack opening as well, it was the same thing. I think for some reason, this wave of cards... And this one's normal. See? I don't know what happened there, I don't know how they made a different set, fire energy of commons into this wave, or into the, this case I don't know if it's just my case, maybe not but friends and got <sighs> finally, the reverse that I need and holo does not the reverse that I need for my loss in the last trainer so, so I've got all the uh, all the trainer cards and all the reverse trainer cards now for my binder perfect so my binder is going to be looking sweet after that 100 pack opening i think i've got most of the main set in that last video i pulled i'm going to spoil it i might as well um reverse mewtwo and how creamy i pulled all the v's that i needed and the last remaining v max that i needed so, I think, in terms of main set, I've pulled everything. Well, this is a main set because of the thingy, but in terms of unlock. Under, I thought the V's kind of there. I don't know how to explain it. Anything below a fallout, basically, I've pulled Minchino that I need that one as well. Perfect, nice. Apart from reverses, I've pulled every card, literally. And all I need now... Probably maybe only a couple or a few um, reverses, and the rest. All I need is full arts, rainbows, and training galleries. Full arts, rain rainbows, secrets, and training galleries. Collect the bars and the mini V, which I already have as well. So I pulled all the V's. I pulled all the V maxes. I've pulled all the V stars. And all I need now, yeah, is vultures. I mean full arts, secret rares, rainbow rares, and trainer galleries. That hundred pack opening though, oh my days, you guys have to go and watch that. It's gonna be quite a long video. Reverse weaver. No, I've got that one. It's gonna be quite a long video 
I need to slow roll it like I normally do, like I'm doing now, because it was 100 packs, otherwise it would be even longer than it would be. But, oh my days, the hits in, the hits in that video. 100% my best opening so far, probably the best, maybe the best video, I would say, on my channel so far. Don't miss it guys, don't miss it, Chinchino, try it on. Very, very good, very, very good. Soon I'll be able to show you. Soon I'll be able to show you. My master set progress. I don't know whether I should high five. Um, show you the progress or should I just wait until I can buy every, every, all the cards that I need. And then just show you the full master set. Primplot, Totoro. I need the reverse version of that. I haven't pulled that yet. That's one that I need for sure. The reverse Torterra. But from this booster box, I'm just hoping I can pull full arts. Restore, Stormy, Fresh Water Set, Sigilith, Torchic, Trepinch, Jigglypuff, Ducklet, Parablast, Spirit 2, and we have a Charizard Vista. Oh my days, wow. This case, because all of these booster boxes. That from the 100 pack opening as well, and this one, all from the same case. And we have pulled my second Charizard V Star. Nice, definitely take that. Right, so now I have all of the V Stars as doubles, which I can put in a separate binder that I'm going to do with trainer galleries and V Stars. So for the remaining. I think for the remaining of Sword and Shield, the remaining main sets of Sword and Shield that they're gonna do, it's gonna have V Stars. V Stars and Trainer Gallery cards, I believe. So maybe I think 30 of each. And I'm going to collect a full binder of all the Trainer Galleries and all the V Stars to be released now until the end of Sword and Shield. Um, I think, what are we in now? Gen 8 or Gen 9? And then next gen which is I believe Scarlet and Violet. I don't know what they're going to do with that set. So wait Scarlet and Violet. Yeah it'll be Scarlet and Violet. Not Sword and Shield. Yeah Scarlet and Violet. So what, depending on what they do with Scarlet and Violet. We don't know yet what they're going to be doing with the cards in that era. We'll see. But if it continues with trainer galleries and V stars, then again, obviously I'll keep adding to that binder. But if not, if they change up, then I would love to have like a master set of trainer galleries and V stars from um, Sword and Shield. Pick up to a twig, Mincino. Trainer Gallery are creamy and I ask you. So not bad so far. So far, not too bad, not too bad. We have a Charizard V Star, which is definitely a good hit to pull. I think out of all of the packs I've opened, out of all of the booster boxes I've opened, that's my first double up of that Charizard V Star. But now that I've pulled that, I feel like I'm not even gonna pull a full up in this one. Oh, I'm not gonna pull a full lot, am I? Damn it. More low top so it's weird to see these cars. Where are these from? Didn't even check. Reverse nose pass. I'm probably on hollow. Did I just take it from oh, it doesn't matter. But I'm sure you've seen if you're a regular to my channel. I'm sure you've seen by now my insane brilliant stars look. I think in brilliant stars in general anyway, psychic like energy. The hits are just there. I don't know if you guys watch um Hilltop TCG, but he's a regular Glory Reverse and Glory Hollow. He's a regular channel that I actually watch come when it opens back because he does a lot of com comparing videos and op a lot of pack videos. The last video that I watched of his boy, he pulled 
from one booster, which I think was from the old wave, from the first wave. Um, 18 hits. Was 18 yeah, 18 hits out of one booster box. And not even that, he pulled double hits of big cards. Got helmet and a Charizard V. Wow, this reminds me of my first booster box. Literally, literally reminds, reminds me of my first booster box where I pulled, I think, exactly these cards. I'm sure I pulled, yep, I pulled a Charizard, the Charizard V, Charizard V Star, and two other V Stars. Am I gonna get the same? Oh no, that would be bad because then there will be nothing apart from the reverses. From this booster box that I can add to my binder. That's all I need. Anything that I can add to my binder. Well, at this point, all I need is um, full outs and above. So I don't even. This booster box is probably going to be my first booster box that has nothing that I need. I think in in every video so far, I've pulled at least one of something that I need for the binder. This booster box might be the first booster box that I pull nothing. For my binder, high five, ultra ball, tropius, Morgrim, dusko, grandma, shinx, the doof, electabuzz, bear tick. I need that one, nice, see so I'm just gonna be pulling at this point reverses for my binder, which I'll take as well, but pulling some, I mean all I need is ultra ball. All arts, I mean not all arts, um, um, full arts, now, so, I guess from this point it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tough. Star you, Mewtwo, yeah, it's gonna be really tough to pull the rest of the full arts, now I'm probably just, after this, well, after my next two, from this case, just by singles. All of all of all the full arts and the rest that I need. I think Trinity Gallery cards, all of them, are are quite cheap anyway. So getting those would be easy. It's getting the old art Charizard for sure. That's gonna be expensive. That old art Charizard is gonna take a chunk out of my wallet. That's a lot of money. And then we have Astral Radiance coming soon as well i think like pretty much two months away which depending on what cards are in it is also going to take a chunk out of my money if i end up going master set from that if i don't go master set then i might not even really open i might do it just for some of the cosmo pickle v i guess i can in terms of astral radiance go for a slower a slower master set than I am doing with Brilliant Stars. Def I don't think I'll go into any set as hard as I am for Brilliant Stars again. I doubt it. Brilliant Stars is a one-off that I don't think I'll be doing again. But just looking at the pull rates and the cards from Brilliant Stars anyway is worth it to me. So let's go over show me and pull a reverse pro and a start up start. I mean Oh. First half, even up to now, to be honest, not that great. All I've got is a Charizard V Star. All I've got is that Charizard V Star. And that Charizard V Star alone doesn't make a thing. It could just be the first bad box that I see. Well, actually, I've seen one bad box so far, just one bad box. Will I actually myself experience another bad box? Call it, I think there's a restar. Let's go. Restar. Yes, and we got a reverse Totara. Yes, just as I was saying that I needed it. I think either this is my fourth or my fifth whimsical restar now. Yeah, see? Actually, wait. Yep, it's going exactly the same. The V's are different apart from the Charizard. But it's going exactly. I bet you I'm gonna pull another V star 
and that V-Star is probably going to be Shaman. Wait, no, last time I pulled Charizard, Shaman, Arceus. Yeah, last time I pulled Charizard, v Charizard, Shaman, and Arceus, V-Star. This time I'm probably gonna pull. That's not Trainer Jolly Card, nice. This time I'm probably gonna pull. Um. This time I'm probably gonna pull Charizard, Whimsicott, and Shaman, maybe? Or am I gonna see my fourth Arceus V Star as well? Lightning Energy, Inferno, Gloria. But well, Arceus V Star is actually holding his value, so I can make a decent amount of money back, put into more from Arceus at least. So I actually wouldn't mind pulling doubles of Arceus. Pays for about a third of the booster box, maybe a quarter. A quarter. High five. Frenzing Gala, Weaver, Fraxio, Electric, Fletchling, Valerian Mr. Mime, Torchic, Aaron, Weasel, and a Garchomp Hollow. Oh, hey. Not that many packs left, guys. Not that many packs left. And only two V stars, yeah. Definitely not gonna pull up. I think my theory is actually right then. If you don't pull a full art, at least one full art in the booster box, you're not getting and you pull, I don't know, one or two V stars, you're not getting one. You're not getting one. Will I even pull a secret rare? That's the question. Will this be another three and one box V star? Or is it gonna change it up on me? Metal Energy, Ace Rollers Premonition, Port Helmet, Executor, Marini, Portrait, Starly, Skarmory, Fence Age, Reverse Blunder Policy, Escavalier. I mean, this box so far isn't that great. It really is not that great. If I added this one into that 100 pack opening, if this one was added into the 100 pack opening instead of one of the others, I wonder. Alright, that, that you made that 100 pack opening way better anyway. Floatsu and a Whimsicott V. That 100 pack opening, boy. A lot of V's, definitely a lot of V's. A lot of V's and a lot of hollows so far. So this one just this one could just be the V box. Water Energy, Crawdon, Top Stadium, Play Doh, Speedy, Dano, Jigglypuff, Dance Pass, Link, Reverse Grow Tool, Manaphy. Moving on to the final last half of the right side. Oh, these packs are hard to open. Would be nice to see at least one secret rare. Or oh, a secret rare that I don't have. Anything gloves, dust plops, the bots, Alucha, Weasel, Evil, Trap Inch, Clang, and a Professor's Research. Yep, a lot of hollows and a lot of V's so far. And it looks like nothing else is gonna come out. Looks like I'm not gonna be getting anything else special. Maybe one more, I don't know what it will be though. I mean, only three trainer galleries so far. You usually get about four average, so maybe I'm looking at one more. Possibly one more Trainer Gallery. That was five. I almost messed up there. Lightning Energy. Double Turbo Energy. I think. I'm not too sure. Are you guaranteed a 
V or V Max version of the trainer galleries and a booster box. Let's go! I guess you are. I guess you are. We have a Bolton V, which I already have though. But I think you are guaranteed a V version of a trainer gallery card in a booster box. Might have just confirmed that. Um, let me think about it. Looking back at the booster boxes, high five. Looking back at the 100 pack opening, how many did I pull? One, two, and a couple of full art versions of it. So I think you are actually guaranteed a uh, higher rarity trainer gallery card per booster box. There's something in this one, there is something in this one. Probably just a V though. Clang, goodbye, Coco, Snow Run, Nose Pass, it could even be a VMAX actually. Jinx, Reverse Morphem, yes, I need that one. Oh, it's a V. Yep. Alright, two packs. That's it, guys. So this box is definitely a V. And V Star Box. My first disappointing box, I think. My first disappointing box. Granted, it is a Charizard, a Char Charizard V and a Charizard V Star, which I think are actually rare when it comes to pull rates in Brilliant Stars. Psychic Energy. Because I've only pulled out of all the packs I've opened. That's my first time doubling up on both of them as well, so I think they're actually quite rare. There we go, nice. Inferno. Alright, so five training galleries, which I think is about average. Four and five. Think four, four and five. Nice. And last pack, I don't think there's gonna be anything in this. I think this one's gonna be a dud. Yeah, so this booster box. <sighs> disappointing. Nothing to add to the binder apart from my reverses. Damn. First time disappointing opening. First time, guys. Chimcho, Minchino, but it's expected now because of how much I've opened. Muffin. Yeah, guys, so time for a recap. So we pulled seven hollows. One, two, three, four, five V. That's, that's average now. I thought that was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. One, two, Three, four, five trainer gallery cards, which average as well, and then this is disappointing. My first, it's not bad, it's average, I guess, but my first disappointing in terms of hits. But I mean, Charizard is a saving grace because it's obviously Charizard and it's a V star, but only two V stars, only two V stars. All right, guys, and on that note. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.